Another legend, man. Another legend, especially a Virginia legend, bro. <sighs> Magoo. Um, I haven't quite. I don't think they released the details on his death yet. Um, but Magoo, man, Magoo was a a, a special part of Virginia hip hop history, bro. Um, believe it or not. Magoo had, you know, when he, I remember when he first, you know, came out and popped off or was, you know, getting pushed. He was getting pushed as Timberland's brother, Magoo. Um, back my as Timberland's brother, Magoo. And he had like, it was a, it was a funny thing because I remember as a kid, especially in Virginia, as a kid in Virginia, when we heard him and we knew they was all from Virginia or whatever, he was like, this nigga... I go, um, it's come, I don't, uh, uh, he had like a funny flow, like, motherfuckers was like, I was like, is this nigga serious? But he was one of the first niggas I ever heard, like, really getting creative with the flow. Like, but still being a lyricist, you know what I mean? Um, it, it, very memorable, very memorable, um, flow, memorable voice, memorable look. The nigga had the little shave, the, the the little three shave gent, like the real, he had the WWF Hulk wrestler jump, like the goatee with the middle line thing. Like this nigga was a different cat, different type of cat. Um, real, real Southern nigga, you know what I'm saying? Real country nigga. Just like Timberland, just like all of us is. Cause y'all didn't know Virginia is the South. I don't know why people be thinking Virginia is the North, it's not. We have a little bit of Northern influence because New York is like six hours that way. But North Carolina is four hours that way. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of, you know, we, we get, our, some of our cousins is from New York. They, you know what I'm saying? So we get a little bit of that type shit too. But it's not, as far as how we living and how it looks, it's, this is the South for sure. And what your grandma say and getting beat with switches when you were a kid and eating grits and chillings and all that type shit. Cream of wheat and, you feel me? Neck bones and shit. Um... Yeah, man, Magoo is a special character, bro. It's a, it's a sad day, bro, because he wasn't like, he won't, I never heard of Magoo ever beefing with anybody. Never heard of him talking shit, nobody talking shit about him. He was low key for real. Like, I really thought Magoo was going to be a bigger star than what he became because he was so unique. But, I mean, it just seemed like he didn't, it, it, even if he didn't want to, or he did want to, he didn't put out, he wasn't chasing it so hard, you know what I'm saying? I think it feel like Magoo was only like doing the rap shit because of Timberland, because his brother was on, or his homie, or whatever. I don't, you know how people be calling themselves brothers and shit. So, but I remember they did come out and say, you know, when he first came out, that was quote unquote supposed to be Timberland's brother. It could have been for marketing reasons, but damn, you'll be missing Magoo, man. Um, Indian Flute was one of my favorites. Up Jumps the Boogie was another one of my favorites. Um, love to love you, love to love to love ya, love ya, love ya. Woo! Love, I, I'm probably some of my young niggas. I'm probably talking old, old head talk or something, man. But just do your motherfucking Googles, do your YouTube's, do your research, do your homework. And you gonna find out Magoo is definitely a factor. Um, he never sold no crazy amount of records or anything like that. But he came out of Virginia rapping on a nationwide standpoint at the time when. We really, when Virginia really didn't have no representation like that. Like, you know, nowadays we got Chris Brown, Trey Song. We got everybody nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody, but we have a lot of people. Pharrell we got now. We didn't have Pharrell then. Um, I think that, at that point it was like Teddy Riley. It was only a few niggas from VA really making noise. Pharrell was writing behind the scenes, but he wasn't a big known. He wasn't the global icon that he is today. So we didn't have the clips at that time. We didn't have a lot of motherfuckers at that time, bro. Um, but yeah, man, Magoo, you'll be missed, bro. Condolences to your family, condolences to everybody around you, man. Sad day, bro. 50 years of hip hop, but it is crazy because he died at 50 and it's been, so he's been alive for the whole 50 years of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. Um, I wouldn't even thought that Magoo was 50, but I guess so. You know what I'm saying? Um, Condolences to his family, if he got any kids. Um, I ain't much to say, man. He's a legend, bro. He will be missed, bro. 
You'll miss you in VA, my nigga. Two up, two down, my nigga. You already know the business. Y'all let me know if y'all fuck with Magoo. Y'all have a favorite song or a favorite moment from Magoo. Put it in the comments below. Celebrate this man's life. Um, it is the 50 years of hip hop. Um, it's only right. You know what I mean? Sad. It's a very sad moment, but you got to big him up. You know what I'm saying? For what he did do. He was a pioneer. He might even blow up and be the biggest artist ever, but a lot of people know him. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Like, comment, subscribe to the North Kitchen Club, man. R.I.P. Magoo. I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah, I smoking gas, feel like I cute. Uh, feel like I cute. Bitch, I'm smoking gas, I feel like I cute. I feel like I cute. Bitch, I'm smoking gas, I feel like I cute. Yeah. I feel like I cute. Bitch, I'm smoking gas, I feel like I cute. Yeah. I feel like I cute. I'm sipping that red solo like I cute. Yeah. Yeah. I got all these bitches on.